I'm being distracted further, excuse me. I forgot to ask you. If something happens, your heart would stop, or you quit breathing, you'd want us to resuscitate you. Probably. I think that's what I answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I can fill out the papers appropriately. Okay. I know. I was asking too on my you know, I turn my living will and stuff and just like hope if something crazy happened, I would like to donate anything available or Okay. All right. What well, was your question so. though earlier? Would the organs go here in Omaha or? No. Oh, okay. No, I just wanted to make sure that my issues were known for that. Oh, okay. Sure so that if you could. Going to pre up. Dr. Mercer just said they're getting ready to take her back, like everything looks good. So. Julie's trying to stay warm, it's chilly in here. They put the hat on her and a bear hugger blanket, B A I R hugger. And it's blowing some kind of air and some kind of blanket, and it's supposed to help keep her warm. Does it? Is it nice? <laughs> Say see you later. Yep. Ciao. Okay. Waiting. About once an hour, the nurse calls. Smoochie and Daddy got here around Pardon 7 o'clock. The nurse yes. called the report, around uh, every hour, 8 o'clock and said that they should be done with her in about 40 minutes or so. They were just stitching her up. Um, looking okay. forward to seeing her. Okay. Julie's friends, Sean Anthony. Reamer, he sold the pet. Who had a transplant twenty one years ago? Held it for a few years. Came to visit her. And her other friend, Jared, who's been out about the same amount of time, like twenty one years. Twenty, twenty one years. Transplant here in Nebraska. Came to visit her. And we're sitting here in the ICU waiting room. Waiting for them, the, the nurses, to tell they us okay. we can come and visit Julie. And that's what we're all waiting for. Andrew, her friend Andrew, is supposed to be flying in tonight at 11 o'clock. And Danielle's coming next weekend. And Tara and Mike are coming next weekend, so she has a lot of support. A lot of people love Julie. <laughs> Julie had a transplant. Sean, go ahead. Uh, Sean Reimer, uh, two liver transplants, October of 1990. Wow, and uh, so you're what, 21 years out? Yes. No problems? Uh... Uh, I've had a little trouble in 99 with my bile duct closing. Uh, they put a tube in and I had to flush twice a day with normal saline for about uh, eight weeks, but after that, and then, and yours with uh, Jared Applehans. Um, I'm 20 years out. I had mine when I was eight years old in January of '91, um, the day after my dad's birthday. So I was kind of neat. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I haven't really had any problems to speak of. Pop my foot. Um, I didn't. I had a little bit of rejection a couple weeks after they sent me home from Omaha. But, mm -hmm. uh, Came back up and within a week, week and a half, I was able to go home. And haven't really had anything major happen since then. Good. Um, do have some issues with gout, but I don't know if that really. I don't know how that played. You guys saw Julie last night. Well, Sean, you went in, and I mean, kind of. That's our typical post-transplant patient. Uh, it was pretty tough. It brought back a lot of memories. You know, just like for me. Just like my transplants were yesterday, and it was pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. That was a big reason why I wasn't able to go in. It just was a little, 
too close to home, if you will. I mean, yeah. Just, uh, it affected me. And I, I you know, thank God that she was where she was at and taken care of, but I just couldn't bring myself to to go in there last night. When so she was still there. all just... Yeah, you know, with all the tubes and still kind of, mm. you know, coming out of it. And, you know, just, That's why I had to keep leaving. I kept having to fight with the nurse. And uh, it was gonna. That never works out too well. I'm gonna lose. Um, and I want. I don't want to get like banned, you know. <laughs> but you went in today. Yeah, definitely went in today. And and you know, from back when we did ours in '90 and '91, just mm -hmm. seeing the progression, how fast she's progressing as far as you know, getting out of ICU. And mm -hmm. I know it took me just three days just to get out of ICU, and a month and a half, I believe, or a month for Sean. So. It, just the progression of it, how fast it, you know, yeah. she's recuperating from it. It's pretty remarkable. I mean, from what we experienced. Yeah, I was telling Jerry earlier. Um, compared to our rooms, when we had ours, it was like we were back in medieval times. Mm -hmm. But at the time we had ours, it was you know top of the line technology, but yeah. just a huge difference. The same with Julie's. You know, she's 16 years ago and. Um, that's actually the one point. One thing that wasn't didn't scare me as much about this whole deal was the 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 ability that I know that those surgeons have, and you know they did that good of a job 16 years ago and 20 and 21 years ago. Well, it's only going to be better. <laughs> That's what I think. I think the biggest message is just do it. You know, don't wait till it personally affects you. Think of the long run of all the other people that you mm -hmm. can help and potentially help. Yeah. It's a big thing. I mean, you put yourself in, in Julie's shoes today. I mean, or in our shoes 20 years ago. I mean, if somebody would have made that call, you know, not only do you lose your loved one, but it affects so many other people by not making that mm -hmm. decision. I mean, I understand it's tough. I'm not pretending like it's not, but like somebody said earlier, um, your body's a vessel, and it's not who you are, your, your soul's who you are, mm -hmm. and that's never going to go away, so, you know, I got some message out of that. Okay, today is August 7th? Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, August 7th, about 40 hours after Julie's surgery. How do you feel, honey? She's got the little pneumatic cuffs on her legs to keep the blood from clotting. The one thing that sucks the most is that we have 172 pounds today. She's got a lot of ascites. They said about six weeks before that starts to go away. That's got to be the most you've ever weighed in your life. At any time. Yeah, 30 pounds. That's even carrying two bags of groceries home. It's 30 pounds more than I usually weigh. And that's what's hard. It's hard on my lungs. It's hard yeah. to sleep. Um, and that's why I have the oxygen. She's doing but her breathing tests. I got most everything out within a few hours. A ventilator. My G tube. The tests are good. I got up yesterday. Yeah, got up yesterday, and you took a shower today. She's going to have clear liquids. I'm like, getting hungry. But she is getting hungry. And this is my... Yeah, let's see here. They went over my... They went over the first scar. Here's... There it can is. Can you see it? Yeah, pull your shirt up just a touch more. You can see it goes all the way across. There it is. And then I have a dream. Yeah, and she has a drain coming out of her right here. And that's just for now. That'll come out soon. Ask what you guys have noticed right away when mm. I came out of surgery. Um, I'll clean up.
clear your complexion within your eyes. We're yeah. already clearing up. The whites of your eyes were white. It's like a thousand times better just yes. the next day. Color in your face and your face was filled in a little more. A thousand times better. Sm you were starting to look drawn. Smelled a little bit <laughs> different too. <laughs> I, I'm not saying jokingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, when you started getting sick, yeah, you uh, you just had. Uh, like, you could tell. Yeah, you could tell. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's not like offensive. But you just yes, you just smelled different. You didn't smell normal, and now you look all cleared up and. This is a serious documentation, and they're looking totally at the pe people of Walmart.com. <laughs> no kids in a, in a grocery cart. And here's the uh, view. Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. Anyways. Anywho. Put them on. Um, we're good. Go. There she is, in a chair now. 48 or 50 hours later. Walked from here, went in there, came back out here, and went over there. And you went out in the hallway too. No, listen. You went all the way August 9th. Yeah. Ace, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes. And she's up, took, just took a shower. And she's. It's 178 pounds of fluid. But Julie taking a walk. p.m. So I've been out of surgery now for um, three days. Yeah, basically three days. Three days. I'm trying really, really hard to be a good patient. Um, listen, everything they're telling me to do. I'm on a liquid diet. Clear liquid diet. Clear liquid diet. So a lot of gel and broth and stuff. But whatever, that's cool. Um, my biggest problem right now is my weight. I'm 178 pounds, which I usually weigh 138. So I'm essentially carrying around 40 pounds of water. I'm sure you're where all the weight is. It's very uncomfortable. As I Not hand out here. My legs. If you, yeah, her legs are just swollen. And it's making my back hurt. Mm-hmm. But other than that, like if I didn't have that, I would feel mm -hmm. really good because even despite this, it's just so, so hard to maneuver. But I've been getting up and I've been walking and doing as much as I can. But these are really, I can't believe how fast things progress, if you want to call it progression. I mean, I knew something was very wrong. And I came out here because I knew that I needed help. But I can promise you that I didn't think I'd be sitting for the transplant, a new transplant, one week after I arrived in Omaha. But that's how badly I needed it. And I realized that my milk score went from a 24 to a 33 or a 34. And the top is 40. And, uh, you know, I just got very lucky. I'm a B, B positive blood type. 
I understand that bee livers are more difficult to find, but, you know, I just can't believe I'm sitting here. I like, think these things are challenging and painful, but I'm so grateful. And I haven't really gotten to think a lot about that, but I feel very bad about my old liver. But in hearing everything that the surgical team has said about, you know, it was nothing that I did. It just happened. It doesn't make it easier, but it makes me feel somewhat less pressured that I did something wrong. Mm hmm You didn't do anything wrong. Did you? No, well, I, I know I didn't. But it, it's just... It doesn't make it any easier. That's how I am. But I promise you that I'm going to work very hard in for this liver. Mm. Everybody knows you will. I'm just, I can't believe, like, how lucky is a person how to get this many chances at something. I love life. I just, I was really scared. How do you feel about Julie, Dennis? I want to love her for good. She's just, I am thrilled. I'm thrilled to be I'm so full of anxiety and worry. I'm still worried a bit, but I see wonderful progress and I'm so happy. Are we on? We're on. Okay, it's today is August 10th. Wednesday. Wednesday, Julie's Five fun. days out, right? That's right. Yeah, so it was a good day. I had a really good day today. Last night wasn't very good. I had a rough night because I was in a lot of pain. But this morning, every piece of news I got all day was good news. My liver and kidney functions have really improved. And I'm still holding a ton of water. I'm still probably 35 to 37 pounds of water weight right now on my legs. And how you're eating. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. But you're eating, and you went poop last night. Yeah, that's a big deal around here. Everybody gets excited, because that means that, I mean, when you think about it, it's working. Everything's connected. They did something right. Just turned it on. You don't even get that when you get a water heater sometimes. But, oh. Um. Hi. Good morning, Julie. It's Friday, August 12th. Excuse me. It's like nine o'clock, is it? I've lost the ability to read it. Ten minutes to nine. Three o'clock. One week from transplant. And I'm being discharged today. She's taking her pills right now. She has one tube in her, and that's in her neck. Port. This is actually for IV. There's IV ports, and you can draw blood, or you can. Put in IVs. Close up of that. Friends last night, and that's what we were talking about. Is what just happened? No. But it's great. I'm happy. I'm the happiest and most at peace I've been in a long time, like a year. And that's what we were talking about. Is now, hopefully, we can just focus on a recovery and enjoying ourselves and. Not really doing too much or thinking about too much for a little while. <clears throat> what do you think? I'm for that. Okay. And that's it. Later. Bye. What are you doing? That better not be who I think it is. You sneaky. Oh, hi, little. <laughs> hi, Julie Stefano. My name is Danielle, I'm going to be your nurse today. <laughs> Danielle, her best friend.
Yeah. Now we're on. We're on. What are we going to talk about today? Well, you're home. This is your first full day at home. Or, or temporary home. Omaha home. Vision wouldn't be so great. And then on the, well. I guess my complaint list of the day, even though I'm not complaining, was I've got tremors really bad from the drugs. Um, and then my vision's really bad. Like it's really hard for me to see and really hard for me to read. Put your hands straight up. How are you doing? I'm fine. How's everybody? I'm really fine seeing you the way you are. Yes. That relates me. Yeah, last last week at this time you were just out of yeah. out not just, even twenty four hours. Still have bunches of tubes in me. Yeah. That's that, that make, seeing that makes me hurt. All that stuff that's in the off. Oh, 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 especially this thing. Yeah, it's very big. It's like a, it's like a goiter on the side. Of course. A bloody goiter. Yeah, that's what this. But at least you had a Switzerland. That's a lot easier than the port they had in your last time. They had it implanted in your chest. That you think better. Yeah. yeah. It's really pain free. I know it looks like it hurts, but I swear to God it's not. Really? Painful. That poor little vein there. That's. I think the docs were spot on that I will heal better here <laughs> with all this great care and food. And <laughs> It just, I'm so excited because now, for the first time, I feel like I can plan things and get excited about things again, and I haven't been able to even think about that in such a long time, like, allow myself to even have a thought wander into, you know, it would be cool, because it just wasn't, didn't absolutely, it seemed absolutely impossible that it was going to be able, I would ever be able to do that again, so. Yeah, until you, until you reach that threshold, you can't make any plans. Well, I don't even want to you, think about it. You really it. can't. You don't know what's happening. Yeah. Well, like a magazine. The whole world is upside down. Yeah, you don't know when the calls in come. And... Yeah. Like a magazine with beautiful clothes in it. Like, I, you know, I love to look at that. And it's like, wow, beautiful, a beautiful travel magazine. When am I going to ever have that opportunity again in my life to wear that or to go there or to even think about it? Yeah. You know, and little things, I know it's weird, but I've told all of you, just for this purpose, like, every time I went pee, my pee was like the color of, you know, coffee, coffee or tea, and even on a day that I was having that wasn't like maybe a bad day, it was a reminder, you're really sick and there's something very wrong, you know, and now it's like instantly since the new liver, it's like normal pee and it's just little things like that that made me hopeful that we're fixed. This is my nest that I've been living in because all of a sudden now my back hurts so bad. But I think the reason is pretty logical. I'm still carrying quite a bit of weight on me. Um, I had about 30 pounds sitting in my abdomen, and it's kind of painful. My incision is healing really well, I just have to keep it covered. It is still kind of having some oozing, for lack of better terms. But um, my legs have gone down quite a bit. I'm working on my weight. Um, initially, I was 178 pounds, which is about 40 pounds up for me. So right now I'm 167, I believe. And I've been wearing these edema socks because I've had so much swelling on my legs and they really do help but I just have to keep my legs up all day and uh, to keep the swelling down so I'm doing really good I just am in a lot of pain today was my first day of outpatient physical therapy which I'm glad I went and did but 
just the pain is really bad today. At least it's not in my legs anymore. It's just right in here and in my back. But I feel really good and I'm starting to eat a little more and stuff, so. It's Monday, August 15th. And the dogs are in trouble because they've been bad. And they've been barking, haven't you? But all things considered, I think they're doing pretty good considering that they're away from their homes. Hostella. It's not easy being me. Yeah. So, I will see you guys later. What are you thinking? Well, like for example, I wanted to explain my dilemmas with eating right now. Dilemmas with? Eating. Because my stomach is so big, I don't have room for anything in there. So, it takes me forever to eat. Like food is really good. Like obviously I have a really good dinner here. And food's starting to taste good to me, but it takes me so long to eat it because I don't have anywhere to put it. You know. Here's Julie at her clinic appointment. First clinic appointment. Today is August eighteenth. Twenty eleven. And we're waiting to see the doctor, and we were just talking to a, a couple of folks here that had bowel transplants. Back pain. Julie's in the clinic, and she has bad back pain. Can you feel that at all, June? Yeah, that doesn't feel great. Do you want them just one by one? Yeah. Stary strips? Mm -hmm. That'll come off in the shower, right? Yep. yep. And they'll, you can just leave them on until they fall off on their own. The first 24 hours, don't run any water over it. So you can't shower late tonight, but you can shower tomorrow night. You can sponge oh, bath or whatever. Um, what does that one hurt? Some of them are a little bit more embedded in there, depending on how they stapled it. So. If it, if it gets to be, you know, painful or anything, let me know. I can stop for a second, but sometimes they just, you know, they, they grab the tissue a little bit differently. Sometimes they're scabbed. Yeah. Well, Julie got her stitches out today, and the drain, the stitches from the drain, and we got home only for to see ascites pouring out of the drain where the stitches were in the drain. Now we have to go back, and they said well, they're going to try putting a couple more stitches in there and to get back there I sent daddy to get some gauze so we can wrap her around and around and hopefully keep her from spilling all over the place. That's this is very we're... scary because I'm afraid to move. Yeah as soon as she moves it just gushes out. So anyhow. Okay here we are back at the clinic Julie got her stitch out and it's completely soaked. The dress is completely soaked. We have three rolls of gauze plus about six pads on her. This is the side as you see. Is that they slip the needle slips on there a lot more.
connection in. And here's Julie sitting there trying to get rehydrated because she lost so much of that fluid. It uh, whapped her. The blood pressure is normal though. They checked her blood pressure because she said she felt lightheaded. And... Alright, Julie just came back getting her blood test after having that little procedure yesterday where all her ascites came flying out of her stomach. And she's so tired and whooped this morning that she feels good sleeping in the car, so she's going to take a nap in the car because it feels good on her back, her seat. There she is. Hi. Why are you there? This is the most comfortable place ever. Okay. We'll see in a little bit. Call us when you're done and we'll take you up. Okay. Okay, here we are. Exactly two weeks to the day, the hour, the minute that Julie went up for her new liver. Here she's back in the clinic for a magnesium drip bring her hey, electrolytes back up because she lost so much last night whenever that uh, what's that drain line called the drain line the drain line from her ascites broke loose like the Hoover Dam it was so nasty I can't yeah, get it was, was kind of nasty she lost about seven to eight pounds in that little ordeal and they, after rushing her back to the hospital, had to put another stitch back in it. Change her underwear, everything she wore, throw it away. It's foul. I got your dress clean. It's so foul, that poor dress. I know. It's, I'm getting it was heavy. It's, it's so good to see you smile. Such a pretty smile. Oh, those pants. Today is August 25th. Julie's back in the hospital. She was having sharp, unbearable pains in her stomach last night. We brought her into the emergency room around 2.30, a.m. and they kept her, decided to keep her. And uh, they're not quite hey. sure what's wrong with her. They tapped her stomach and took out five liters of fluid. And I believe they're probably going to look at it and see if there's any kind of infection or anything in there. And they've taken a bunch of blood tests. They currently have her <coughs> on albumin for her blood pressure because it's pretty low. It's, um, that's what the guy said. It's at 79 over 52 right now, and her heart rate is 126. She has a slight fever. And she's drinking stuff just because they're going to give her a CAT scan because her stomach is so contrast. tender. Hmm? She's drinking contrast. Uh, I just had my parenthesis. Second I, one, right? Yes, I had one yesterday morning. And then I had my heart drain, which is this. Right here, that's yeah, draining from my heart. <clears throat> Am I modest? Yeah. You're modest. Uh, yeah, you can feel, you can feel a mess there. So what they just pulled off the, the from this site right here. 6.1 liters. Six oh, in one day? Wow. Well, f just now, 6.1 yeah. liters. Yes, it was five liters. So they thought they'd be able to get about eight, but um, I'm not unhappy with that. Wow, look at that. That looks about like my stomach now. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, it's... It's noticeable. It's 
quite a relief. Is it, is it quite a relief? Yes. Yeah. I can move easily. She yeah, just gave no, me some pain line, yeah, medication. And uh, I'm going to get up and go to the bathroom and get something to eat. Good. Because I couldn't, I had to wait for the procedure to be over because my okay. stomach was literally too full. I couldn't put fit anything. anything. Yeah. So I'm, maybe I'll get a decent meal tonight. So. Okay. Good job. All right, sounds good. Did it hurt? Okay, thank you. It didn't hurt. It just feels really weird. How did it look? Yucky. Like that stuff? Yeah, yucky. It's the same stuff. Same stuff. And they they put them in the big glass <coughs> jars. Yes. And two two of the nurses had to lift it oh. and carry it out. They were in a big biohazard bag. Wow, it's pretty gross. So. And today, Julie's friend, Chris, <laughs> came to visit, and we're happy to see her. She's yeah, I just here. like just got had come back in here, and Chris was coming for the weekend. But. It's cool. Okay, and what's the date today? Twenty fourth, twenty sixth, August twenty sixth. Okay, it's Friday, August twenty sixth. Friday, August twenty sixth. It's actually, is it nice out? Seven is the five on August 28th. And uh, I don't know if the liver team came by, but then yes, they did. The liver team came by as well as the cardiac team came by. And what was their synopsis to you, sweetie? Um, they're optimistic that my heart is going to recover fully. And they're going to kind of wait and make um, a decision over time on a, based on observation about if I'll need surgery to fix the tear or whatever it is. Yeah, the pericardial sac repair. Yeah. Which I hope that they don't have to do that because the only way that I understand that they can do it is by reopening my entire scar mm -hmm. because of the way that it is sutured. What? I'm Chris Alcott and been friends with Julie for three or four years. Very, very close friends. And Julie has been keeping me updated throughout the entire process and now being able to come out here and be with her during this time has been very rewarding for me to see the progress. So I don't care if we're in the hospital room or we're at home or what. I just like spending time with her. Yeah, I mean it's been great 